everyone and welcome to scrapbook process video number 38 this is my second with first edition hey baby from Trimcraft. and as i said last week and i will link the video if you haven't seen it um i'm using this collection to scrap pictures of my nieces and nephews when they were all teeny teeny tiny so this is the second one of little baby millie she was the second born i'm doing it in age order because that's just the easiest way to do it so this one is called hey baby millie so for most of these layouts i'm doing like one big element to go behind the photo kind of thing and for this one I wanted to do a flower but I couldn't find a cut file or anything that was the the image I had in my head kind of thing so I just decided instead to just roughly draw it out on a piece of 12-12 that I'm you know not bothered about I don't really want to keep kind of thing just do draw a rough flower kind of like a kid would draw kind of thing that's the kind of thing I was going for and then cut out each one of those but I also, we'll go back to that in a minute, because apparently I've put the footage in a weird order. Um, I did a little bit of mixed media in the background, so I just sprayed some water on my pattern paper. That one is from the 12x12 paper pad, obviously. And with my Kurataki watercolours, I'm just going in with the packaging technique just to add a little sort of watercolour background. So I started with the yellow colour and then I'm going to do a little bit of pink and a little bit of mint. Now that pink from the the kurataki pan set whatever you want to call it um is quite a strong strong pink so i did have to mix quite a lot of white in there because i didn't want that really strong pink in this baby themed layout it needs to be nice and sweet and pastel and lovely and -la 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 -la. so yes that's what i am doing with that mixing in making a nice pastel color making it quite wet and yes there we go now i did make a bit of a mistake on this and you don't really see it but i forgot to I don't know if forgot is the right word, maybe I was just being lazy, but I didn't put a layer of gesso or clear gesso on this page and it warped so much. So what I actually did completely off camera is I backed it with another 12 by 12 piece of cards or cardstock that I wasn't bothered about just to give it some more structure. So just so you know, if you try this at home or anything, then yes, either give it a layer of gesso first or you need to back it with something just to give the paper that extra strength because you know it is paper and there's a lot of water and wet medium going on there so once i'd done the mint i also went back with the pink and yellow just to do a couple of splatters the pink splatters are actually the full color pink like not the um the one mixed with white but i think that works just for a bit of pop of bright pink and then as i said yes a couple of yellow splatters as well which you can't really see as well but yes so those are my little um flower and flower petals that i cut out on that bit of paper that i wasn't bothered about and what I'm doing with each of those is tracing around them, like so. And you can see I numbered them as well, so I knew they were in the right order kind of thing where they need to go around the flower. And then, yes, just tracing around it and then cutting it on different scraps of paper that I have from the 8x8 paper pad. And that's all there is to it, really. I mean, the only thing I did do is, you can see there, I just got a little bit of the same patterned card that i'm using for my background i was just keeping that there to keep an eye on like the colors and how they work together because my main piece was over the other side of the room having getting dry from all that watercolor but yes i did just make sure that you know there wasn't so i've just done a mint there and i'm making sure i don't put another mint next to the mint so alternating the colors and the color types and all that kind of thing and then i'm also numbering those because you know i have the memory of a gnat so i have to number things and take pictures otherwise i just forget so yes that is what i did with those and i used that fun that's one of my favorite papers from the paper pad is this glittered one with all the colorful dots confetti kind of thing and so i wanted to use that for the center of the flower i think it's the only kind of opportunity i had to use it in this layout but i wanted to squeeze it in because i love it so much now off camera i stitched around every single one of those petals and the center of the flower as well i did them in alternating sort of a pinkish lilac on some of them and then a off white on some of the other petals and then around the center i did a light yellow as well i kind of wish that i'd use the yellow one more to be honest it's because when i looked at the yellow at first it was too bright and i was going ah no that's not going to be right but then when i actually stitched with it i was like oh actually this kind of works but i'd done the center of the flower last so gosh darn it never mind so those are all just going on there with some double-sided tape and then I'm backing my photo with the same back paper I backed my photo with in the last layout actually I just think it works great as a backing the nice yellow because it contrasts so nice nice no 
Speak slower, Grace, and then you won't mess up your words. It contrasts nicely, is what I was trying to say there. Anyways, just to add a little bit more dimension and interest and stuff, I was just sort of peeling up the edges of the petals there. Probably should have done that before they were stuck down. Never mind. It was one of those ideas, you know, that comes to you and you're like, oh, that's going to work, and but it's now more inconvenient to do it this way. So yes, I did all of those. It just... It looks more childish like that, if that makes sense, to work with the whole Hey Baby theme. I don't know if that makes sense. So I decided on the slightly more subtle Hey Baby style, the one without the big glittery border, just because the whole pastel leaf theme went better with the layout in general. And I'm just popping out some of the elements from the decoupage pad to use as like ephemera and embellishments and that kind of thing. So for the second part of my title, the Hey Baby and then the Millie, um, I decided on those mint alphas, which are from one of those snap packs and I forget are they simple stories I'm not entirely sure I can't remember they are old I've had them for ages and ages and ages so yes just putting down my hey baby start there and then I will put my picture down on some foam as well just to lift it up a little bit from that very very busy layout and then add a load of embellishments really so the picture as I said is of baby Millie the second born of the nieces and nephews she is the sister of Amy from the picture the scrapbook process sorry last week and so this picture would have been 2005 is that right yes because Millie just turned 13 last week happy birthday Mills again and yes funny thing about these photos if if you watch all of these hey baby process videos the ones with me in any way you will be able to notice my hair change quite a lot I did change my hair so much as a teenager like I've lost count of how many different times different styles and colors and stuff I had so in the first one, when I was 13, the one from last week was natural, long, wavy, poofy ginger hair. And then this one, 2005, oh, I'm putting adhesive on those um, stickers, by the way, because they are um, older and needed just, the, they lose their stickiness after a while. But anyway, yes, back to what I was saying. Um, that was, so 2005, I, I was still a little bit natural, but I had a lot of highlights and lowlights and my hair was poker straight as was the fashion at the time. So check me out for being fashionable for like the only time in my entire life. So yes, but next week you will see the most drastic change that I think I ever did when I was 15, 16. <laughs> yes, that was quite something. 16, I think I'm going to say is the right age, but anyway, yes. So something for you to look forward to there. And yes, so that's probably enough to say about the layout. So little baby Millie. Millie, I think, watches some of my videos. So hey, Mills, if you're watching. Mills is a very bu talented, budding little crafter. She prefers more messy things than I do. You guys know, I, although I do mixed media, I don't like getting too, mi too messy, but Mills does. But anyways, yes. So putting on those little flowers as embellishments and stuff, some under the photo, some over the photo. My tacky glue, by the way, another tangent, not talking exactly about what I'm doing, but it smells bad. It's just in the past week turned and it smells awful. Now I know adhesives and inks and all those kind of things, they do have a shelf life. They do go off after a certain amount of time, but that's not even a year old, that tacky glue. And it just suddenly started smelling like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it smells like sulf sulfur farts, eggy sulfur farts. It's just gross. So I need to go out this afternoon and go get some more tacky glue because I cannot cope with the smell. Anyways, about my title, the Millie part of the title, I wasn't 100% happy with the way it looked with as just the plain mint. It was just, there was something wrong with it. So I decided because you've got that sort of stitching effect going around the star and I've got obviously real stitching going on around petals I thought I would just with a black gel pen do the stitching effect on the letters and I think that makes it work so much better and ties it in more and you just saw me there as well doing that same thing like doing the sort of flight path for that little butterfly thing I did it in pencil first just to check if that would be right but yes it was so I do that a couple of times as well I think I have to do it three more times because you know what I'm like with my rule of three anyways that little sentiment there which I have forgotten what it says and as I am not watching this in high definition I can't does it say hello little one maybe anyway it was from the sticker pack so I just backed it with some cardstock and then cut around it because it needed to be sturdy to go half over the photo kind of thing and then I did a few more of the cute little stickers as well just nice little glittery elements 
and all that kind of thing. So I wanted something else and I wasn't sure what. And I have this big bucket of sort of non-branded embellishments and a lot of 3D butterflies and that kind of thing. And I was going in there to look for butterflies, but I don't seem to have any pastel ones, at least out of the non-branded ones anyways. So I came across these little pastel birds which were given to me by the lovely Josie. Hey Josie, if you're watching and look, I'm using them. <laughs> so yes, those were pretty perfect. As there was a mint one, and I'd used mint, and there was a yellow one, and I'd used yellow. And so I put those on as well as I thought they went well, quite, you know, quite cute with it and some buttons as well. And I have done two of, oh look, interrupted. I thought I would leave this in because you guys haven't seen Conan in a while, but yes, Conan does occasionally like to interrupt my scrapbooking for some snugs and head scratches and head boops, which is what he was doing just then, giving me some head boops. That cat can head boop really hard. Like sometimes he get, ow, head butt me much. So he just sat there for some head scratches and he sat there for a good, good 10 minutes, but he left once he had his quota of head scratches. And yes, so I am fussy. I wanted even more embellishments, all of the embellishments. And um, so I fussy cut these from again from the decoupage pad obviously i could have just popped out a couple more but i really want to be able to use it to its you know fullest or whatever so i just fussy cut a load of those i had to wait for conan to leave obviously because if i do anything while he sat there it just he just wants to play and those kiki k scissors are sharp as hell and i do not do not want his paws anywhere near those scissors my little baby don't want to hit don't want his paw getting hurt no 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 anyways I call him my little baby. Maybe I should do a Conan layout with a baby. <laughs> oh dear. But anyways, all of those little glittery flowers and butterflies, the more of them that I've just cut out are all going around the layout. I think it was because I had everything on the right at that stage and I needed some more just little bits over on the left as well. So I'm adding a few more little hearts and glittery flowers and stuff that are from the sticker book. Again, just lots of little elements. We already had the splatters, so there was a certain amount of little elements. But as I said, there was still way too much on the right. And obviously you want the majority of stuff around your picture, so your picture stands out, but you still don't want it leaning too heavily to one side. So I'm finishing off, as I did last week, with a load of Nouveau Drops. So I used the Duck Egg Blue, like I did last week. And then that one there is, oh, I think it's Aquatic Mist maybe it's aquatic something it's one of the glitter drops and it is um sort of a turquoisey minty kind of color and then again i'm using the white blizzard like i did last week because um it just goes well and there's lots of little because of the the stuff from the decoupage pad and the sticker book there's lots of little glittery elements so using the glittery nouveau drops works quite well and there we go i am finished so thank you as ever so so much for watching as I always do, there will be links to where you can get this paper pad and stuff in the description box. I will try and leave as many links to different places as I possibly can, especially for those of you who might not be in the UK. So yes, other than that, it is time to go. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, chat to me in the comments, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And yes, okay, thank you again. I am now going. Bye! -bye.